I'm going to show you how to make a lantern fly catcher. Um, you want to get a Tazo bottle. That seems to be the best bottle that I've discovered for this purpose. <clears throat> First, I'm going to show you some of my prototypes and what went wrong with them. So this one is a Fiji bottle. And this one is an orange juice bottle. Um, and I also had another one made from simply almond juice, almond uh, milk. And um, they make orange juice and other juices and stuff. Um, but it was just a total failure, so <laughs> don't use this bottle. Uh, I also have some um, soap bottles. And um, they seem to be the worst because the curved edge seemed to not really do like it. They would be able to pop out of the side when um, when they jump out. So what I really didn't like about these prototypes was the flap going downward. I realized that when they jump, they would just, you know, fly right out. So, um, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> but you can use this type of bottle here for the style that I really like. This one here with the flap that goes downward or, you know, that, that opens from the top and flaps that way. Um, cause the square bottles are really good. You can probably use, um, some uh, spice containers. They would probably do really well in with this style too. But the problem is they come with these flappy lids. So you'll have to find one that fits it. I forget what this one was. Uh, it's 63 millimeters. So it fits, I think it fits, it should fit on both. If not, then this one. doesn't say what size it is, but I, th I think it's universal. Yeah, it fits on well. So 63 millimeters for the spice jars. If you want to find a different lid from like a, like a vitamin jar or something, probably. Um, so another thing that I didn't like so much with these was the ribs around the side. I don't know. I the the fact that it's nice and smooth seems to make them not realize that they're inside something. Um but you can use it if that's all you have. These are really easy to cut. This one not so much. Um I forget which orange juice this was, but another problem is that the lid on these ones are really, really soft. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this style orange juice container. But I'm sure you can work it, work it if you can, if you have it. Um, if you use like a soda bottle style one, um, those lids are really strong. So you'll be able to make a really strong um, lid to screw on to your broom handle. <laughs> so strong that it's difficult to get on the first time. So just screws right on there and then the bottle can screw on like that. Works really well. So, this one with the flap, I measured three inches down. And it seems to do, do really well, except this area that that's right at the top here, 
it seems like they can see it really well because they seem to aim for that spot and they get stuck here. So two and a half might actually work slightly better because when you, if they get stuck here and you, you know, jam it down to try to have them get dislodged from it and go back down into it, it, it's, it takes more effort than if there was slightly more space away from the wall. Hmm. I mean, you can you can try both and see which one works better for you, but somewhere between two and a half to three inches, if you're using this bottle, is really good. Um, and I learned with this style, they tend to climb up the edge as well. So maybe try cutting like exactly right here on this side here. So. Another reason why I like the Tazo bottle is because the label peels off <laughs> cleanly and quickly. You don't have to get out your um, goo gone or anything. The soap bottles I really, really didn't like because they left this behind and I don't know, it, it seemed a lot of extra work to goo gone it to get it clear. So what you'll want to do is take your X-Acto knife and so I'm going to try the two and a half for this one. You want to just score it lightly on that two and a half inch line just so it's easy to fold later. Just, just a light score. And then You'll cut straight up and always cut away from you. multiple scorings because if you use too much effort then you're more likely to hurt yourself. top edge here you can always cut with scissors later to make it a more smooth edge that they're less likely to see there. Okay, so 
Now with the score line. Now you can fold that down where the score line is. And that one is a two and a half inch one. So now for the lid. Tazo conveniently has this little dot right in the center. So you want to drill a little, actually, <laughs> before I forget, you want to put it back onto a bottle because then you have a stronger thing to hold on to. So that's your little pilot hole. Then you take your 5 8 inch speed bore bit. Um, and then you poke a hole. And you don't have to make it a clean hole, actually. Um, the roughness tends to make it easy to screw right onto your mop handle and just press down a little bit and then it screws right on. Just fine. And I used to paint stuff on the outside of it and it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of a difference. I thought that maybe they would want to climb in, like, you know, stay in side this side, <laughs> but it didn't seem to make much of a difference. And like er the earlier editions, I would paint on the back to make them more likely to want to jump in, but I tried just a plain clear one and they, they jumped in just fine. Um, so that is your two. Oh, another thing. The Tazo lids are fine. They don't need the, uh, as you can see on these lids here. I made like little sure if you can see but I made little notches to help them get onto the, the um onto the the handle and the these seem to need it because they're so solid but the Tazo lids are soft enough that they screw on easily to the handle you may want to get a some sort of nut that fits on here. I'm not sure if they make something like that. They they probably do, but to keep your Tazo bottle on, you might want to screw some sort of nut on there. You don't have a whole lot of space because you need to account for this here, but they they might make one. <laughs> I haven't I haven't um, found I haven't looked for them, but it seems to wobble a little bit, so. If there was a, a nut that would hold it flat, that, that could keep it on a little bit better. So I went to the hardware store and they don't seem to have any nuts that work. So I MacGyvered by putting the soda bottle lid upside down and screwing that in tightly and it's very little wobble. Uh, I also, since I had the taught the Fiji bottle, I made the test with the new type of flap and I didn't even bother goo-gonning the label. And this label I, I just left on just to see if it would affect how they jump out. Um, and it turns out it, Fiji bottles work really well too. Um, I made sure to cut along the outside 
of the octagonal part of the um, the sides, just so that the flap would lay really close to the sides of the bottle for them to not be able to jump out. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you some footage later uh, if you want to watch any of it. But um, yeah, Fiji works really well too. Um, and they don't need the nut because the, the lid itself is really, really strong. It's very unlikely to wobble that way. So um, enjoy some footage of these things in action. Bye.